welcome to Devlin's Domain. Today I have a really disturbing film. I've seen this film before. Uh, it's by director Marion Dora. Uh, it's the first film I saw of his. Uh, actually, I've only seen two. I've, I've seen this and uh, Angel's Melancholy. Uh, I, they're both very, pretty disturbing as far as content. Uh, this one is actually based on a true story about a German cannibal who sought out uh, someone who to volunteer to be eaten and they used, you know they used the internet and certain chat rooms and he had to go through an ordeal to find someone and he finally did and uh, shit got weird and they video recorded the whole thing and you know the cops got the tape the caught the guy and uh, I don't I don't know if there's any way to actually see the real video but uh, from what I understand, I think Mary and Dora saw, had it, got access to the real video and tried to duplicate uh, shot by shot what actually happened in this house between these two weirdos. So, uh, there's an American release that's kind of, is like out of print, hard to find. Uh, I think Unearth Films did that on DVD. There's no Blu-ray version. Uh, but I wasn't able to find that for a reasonable price, but I did find a nicer version. Uh, I think this is from Germany, a company called Black Lava Entertainment, and uh, th yeah, this is Cannibal. It's a very nice release, like a media book type of thing. Uh, it's a lot of German stuff on here, so I can't read most of it, uh, but it is the full and cut film in German and Spanish, and there's bonuses that I have no idea what they are because it's not in English. So. I, I'm an idiot and I only know one language, uh, unfortunately. But I'm glad to have this. It, you know, it's you know, at least I have the film. I can enjoy that and hopefully I can access some of these extras and kind of figure out what the hell's going on in those. Uh, but yeah, this is uh, one of the few films that's actually made me queasy watching it, uh, kind of nauseated. And, uh, you know, a lot of people don't like it. It's not for everybody. It's a slow burn film. It takes a while to get to the point. Uh, but once it gets there, it's sickening. And, uh, you know, when it comes to horror, people don't watch horror for the reasons they think they do, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. It's hard to explain, but, you know, like, especially on modern horror films, people want to have fun when they go see horror, and this is not fun. This is real horror. This is uh, uncomfortable. It, it, it triggers unpleasant feelings, uh, and, and people are turned off by that. You know, you, 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 you people, you know, ask about a horror film, and they're like, "Oh, is it scary?" That's not really what they want. They want to have a good time when they go see horror. They're just, you know, I, they don't know how to communicate what they really want. Uh, but real horror, to me. It is, triggers unpleasant feelings, you know, fear and, and disgust and, and disturbance, you know, that's horror to me, and this delivers on all those things. Uh, it, it's just a sickening film, and, and it's hard to watch, and uh, I'm going to try to watch it again, and, and I appreciate it for all those reasons. It, it's not a pleasant film. Uh, some people aren't going to like it just because of that, and those people don't really like horror in my opinion <laughs> they want to have fun they don't want to be you know they don't want to feel all this rotten things so i'm going to open it up and let's uh see what's inside all right there's a closer look at the cover and some of the artwork there it doesn't really scream what the movie is to me on the cover yeah. i mean sort of but not really uh that's more you know the bloody guy in the bathtub that's more like what the what the film is. Uh, of course, this German gibberish here, and the specs here. So I had to order this from overseas. Uh, that's the website there, blacklava.at. Uh, so you got to order it from overseas, and pay for you know overseas shipping and all that. But it's a really nice looking release, and <laughs> I might have to actually like censor some of this. There's some hairy stuff in this film, so I don't know how much... Like, look at that. It's, it's like a very passionate film. And that's part of what makes it disturbing, because they're so passionate about what's going on, even though it's totally horrific. 
Uh, so that's pretty. Let me get that behind there. And you have uh, booklets attached inside. So this might be where it gets a little censored. So I think all that's in German. Yeah. Bunch of writing I won't be able to read. A little bit of artwork in there. I guess this is like the script, maybe. Yeah, so unfortunately I won't be able to read any of this. I'm not <laughs> that I know I would have anyway. We got some stills from the film. So there's also like an American film about this whole scenario called uh, Grim Love. Which I heard people raving about, and I didn't care for it. I guess because I saw this first, and this was like moved me in such a way that I was I could not uh, get into Grim Love. But I'm gonna give uh, pop this in and give it a look and see what kind of extras I can access that I can make any sense of, and uh, get back to you, let you know how it is. Alright, so I finished Cannibal, uh, probably the third time I've seen this. Uh, it doesn't really have the same effect as the first time I watched it, I guess because, you know, for one, I know what to expect, and I've been desensitized, you know, uh, the first time I watched it, I was, like, totally, like, disgusted, it was like, fuck, it would be hard, and then, uh, later on I had to watch it again, I wrote a re written review for the Needless Things website, uh, which I'll put a link for in the description. Uh, if you want to read the written review, uh, and so I, you know, kind of refresh my memory, I watched it again, and, uh, you know, this would be the third time I saw it. Uh, on this disc, uh, the first, you know, it's a two disc set, so the first disc has the movie, two different versions, you have German and English, and they both have commentary tracks. Uh, I didn't watch it with the commentary, I probably will go back one day and, and watch it with the commentary, because I'm not even sure who's on the commentary, uh, since I can't read any of this shit. Uh, there's not, it doesn't really matter which one you choose really because there's not very much dialogue at all. Like, probably the first 30 minutes of the movie, there's no dialogue. Uh, you know, once he meets the guy, uh, there's basically two characters in the movie that are relevant. Uh, Karsten Frank is the man, and... That's that's what he's uh, credited as the man, and then the the victim is uh, the flesh, and I forget the guy's name that plays the victim, but uh, yeah. So, <laughs> uh, you know, there's a little bit of dialogue between those two, not a whole lot. I think like once they meet, they you know they meet in like a park or something under a tree, and he just walks up and he says, "I'm your flesh." So, it, it, it's just so weird the way they act around each other. Uh, they're so happy once they meet each other. You know, you know, because uh, the man, he's been on this, you know, quest, I guess. You know, meeting people on the internet and, you know, meeting them in public and stuff. And trying to find someone who's totally serious about, you know, fulfilling his wishes. You know, he, he's out to kill somebody and eat them, but he wants to do it, you know, somebody that's voluntary. Uh, which is, I imagine, very difficult to do. So once he finally finds somebody that's willing to do it, uh, you know, he's he's very excited, very happy. You know, they ride in the car to his house, and it turns into, like, a sexual thing. So uh, it, it's almost like these two guys are in love uh, just because, you know, they both have... Uh, it's like a positive and negative attraction. You know, one guy wants to be eaten, the other guy wants to eat, and they finally found each other. And so it's like they're they're madly in love, and you know, there's a lot of like pretty graphic, like you know, there's lots of male nudity. Like these guys are pretty much naked through most of the movie. Like they, you know, once they get together uh, in the house, uh, they pretty much stay naked, and you know, they don't cut away from anything. They, you know, they get the full Monty, and there's some pretty graphic sex scenes in there, too. I mean, not not uh, pornographic or anything, but, you know, it, it gets pretty close. 
Uh, it's hard, hard to tell if they were actually simulated or not. Uh, I imagine they probably were, just, you know, it makes it easier to, to shoot when they are, I imagine. Uh, but, you know, there's a lot of that leading up to the actual act, and it almost looks like he's going to back out. You know, it's like, you know, he can't do it. There's a pretty graphic scene where he's, like, biting down on the dude's penis, and, and there's, like, blood coming out of it. Uh, it's And he just can't follow through, and... Yeah, it's pretty it's pretty rough, man. Like it, it gets pretty graphic, and the, even the whole setting of the house is just dingy and and uh, uncomfortable. It's you know the guy has no <laughs> decorating skills whatsoever. Uh, you know he's just got like a TV sitting on a chair, you know, and then they like sit in the floor a lot. And there's like <sighs> like the kitchen's the only thing that's pretty much together as a room everything else is just kind of like he doesn't give a fuck you know uh yeah he doesn't even have like running running water to his bathtub like he has to like you know heat water and then dump it in the bathtub uh but it, yeah it gets it gets pretty wild and it's it's disturbing to watch it's not pleasant it's not enjoyable but it is uh i i you know I appreciate it for for what it is. It, it's uh, it, it's very realistic. I, I think, uh, especially you know, two people that are mentally fucked up. You know, it, it seems legit, and, and the way that they are, the you know, the, the way that the camera doesn't shy away from showing you some things. It kind of adds to the realism. You know, you're you're there with them. You're not trying to hide anything. Uh, the violence is pretty graphic. Uh, you know, it's a low-budget movie, but I think most of the of the money was put into making some pretty graphic uh, dismemberment. Uh, they probably used, like, some animal parts or something like that. So, I mean, you know, they didn't have to use, like, f fake stuff. They didn't have to create any, any kind of gore. It was, you know, natural gore it looked like, uh, I'm assuming. But uh, the, the cadaver of the man... Or the flesh, I guess he would be called the flesh. The cadaver of the flesh, like once he's been gutted and everything, it looked pretty convincing. Like I'm not sure if they, if that was like some kind of animal carcass that they had, you know, distorted to make it look sort of human or whatever. But yeah, it was pretty convincing uh, cadaver, disemboweled cadaver. Uh, but it, you know, it's it's pretty rough watching all that stuff. Uh, it, it's very artistic type of film. It's it's. Uh, it's not your typical type of horror film. I don't even know if you classify it as horror necessarily. I would just because of you know how unsettling it is. But that's just my opinion. Uh, so that was the movie. So I, I you know because I already went over a lot of it at the beginning. But uh, some new stuff that I haven't seen yet was on this too. And you know the bottom of this has a bunch you know the bonus material written out and it's uh, gibberish most of it. Uh, so I wasn't sure what I was going to get into. Uh, it was pretty self-explanatory, you know, English-friendly. You know, it's all just short films, and you just click on whatever, and, you know, it takes you to a different short film. Uh, some of them are, like, 13 seconds. Some of them are, like, a minute or two, and some of them are, like, 15, 16 minutes. So it just depends on which one you look at. And they're all pretty fucked up, too. There's... Uh, and one of them seemed like it might have been a deleted scene from the movie because it had Karsten Frank's character, the man, and he goes to visit some dude's house who's like sticking a corkscrew through a baby doll's crotch. And yeah, it seemed like it might it could have been a deleted scene where he's like meeting someone that he's trying to negotiate with at his apartment, and then that guy like totally just rapes the shit out of him <laughs> or something. Uh, so I was, um, I'm not sure if, you know, because Carson collaborates with Marion Dora quite a bit. He's in a lot of his stuff, so it's hard to tell if that was meant to be a deleted scene or if that's just like a solo weird short. Uh, that's probably more the case. It's probably just a weird short film. just happened to kind of line up a little bit with the main movie. Uh, you had one short, which was really pornographic. It had a lot of graphic, like, sex uh, between a male and a female. And at the beginning, she, like, wanders through the snow and, like, drops her pants and just takes a big dump right there in the snow. And the camera, like, zooms in and all that. And then she, you know, it goes from there into, like, this hardcore, uh, you know, weird type of sex act uh, between these two people. 
very bizarre. Uh, you got one was just animals getting skinned and, you know, having their, you know, skin ripped off over their head, you know. Uh, just shocking visuals. No, uh, I don't know what the point was to all that, but, you know, it was artistically done, but it was, you know, very, very graphic and, and gory. Uh, you had one with, another one with Karsten Frank is just like standing in a doorway masturbating while they're, these people are like doing autopsies on two bodies and they're, I mean, it's pretty graphic autopsies too. Like they're pulling the skin off their face and, and you know, sawing the skull open and, you know, got a chisel and a hammer and like cracking the head in half and yeah, he's just, uh, feverishly masturbating while all this is going on. Uh, so that was pretty bizarre. And then there's a, like a documentary you know, it's it's not narrated, and there's no like, you know, audio interview or anything like that. But it's just a visual documentary of uh, Jess Franco, uh, you know, an older Jess Franco, and Karsten Frank was in one of his films, and I guess Marion Dora followed them with a camera, like on you know, while Jess Franco's out like mingling with people, and uh, then they go to a hotel, and you know, they're outfitting everyone in there. Uh, film costumes and all that stuff, and it looked like uh, Lena Romay was there uh, as well, uh, being a lot older than she used to be, and still doing nude scenes. I'm pretty sure that was her. Uh, and so, and so they kind of, it, yeah, it's kind of a, it's a nice little documentary, uh, even though it's, you know, like I said, there's no narration to let you know what's going on. I'm not sure what film they were making. Uh, but it was kind of cool to see Jess Franco like in action in this artistic uh, way of showing it. Uh, pretty weird, but yeah, the extras were all pretty cool uh, and, and disturbing, and the movie itself was pretty disturbing. It's I, I'd say it's top ten one of the most disturbing things I've ever seen. Uh, and I'm kind of desensitized to it now, and it has probably desensitized me to other things that I might would have found disturbing before that. Uh, but yeah. If you're into that kind of weird shit, if you want to see something really horrific, I would suggest watching Cannibal. And I'll put a link in the description to uh, Black Lava, uh, so you can check that out. Because it's probably the only place you can find this uh, at a decent price. And it's a nice, it's a nice edition. It's like you know a book and everything. Even though you can't read German, uh, maybe you can read German. <laughs> I can't, so I don't know what most of this is in here. But whatever, uh, digital contents are all good on the disc, so that's worth checking out. Anyways, uh, if you like the video, like my video. And uh, hit subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you guys later.